And here we're going to delve into uh, assets a little bit deeper. So we, here we're going to talk a little bit about special cases as we're trying to come up with the names and nomenclature for these particular assets. So again, assets yield hydrogen when dissolved in water. So it yields a positive hydrogen ion. And so let's look at some special cases. For example, rule one, when we're adding an additional oxygen to what was an acid already, in this case, we have chloric acid, HClO3, and we're going to now add an additional oxygen to this. Now, what do we name that acid? Because that also will disassociate the hydrogen when placed into water. So they tell us to add a per to the name. So we're going to call this perchloric acid because there's an additional oxygen. So perchloric acid. We add this to the original name of chloric acid. Now, what if we remove an oxygen? For example, let's say we have nitric acid, HNO3, but now we have a different acid, which is HNO2. What do we call that? Well, the rule says that the ic now becomes us. So instead of nitric acid, we're going to call it nitrous acid. Okay, so when we add an oxygen, it's called perchloric acid. When we remove one, we call it nitrous instead of nitric acid. All right, here we remove two oxygens. For example, we have bromic acid, HBRO3, and now we're going to find a different acid, HBRO. Well, there's two oxygens removed. So first of all, one oxygen would call it us instead of ic, so we call it bro bromus acid. But then we also have to add another hypo in front because now we know there's a second oxygen missing, so we call that hypo bromus acid. All right. So those are the ways in which we change the name of the acid for something where either is an oxygen added or subtracted, or in case there's two oxygens subtracted and we still find ourselves with a compound that forms an acid. Now, the, na the last thing is the corresponding ions, the names for those. Now, we know that if we have HClO3, which is a, a chloric acid, we name the ion chlorate. So that's the name. So we have an ic acid, chloric acid, the, the corresponding ion is called chlorate. We use the 8 ending. And here we have nitric acid, and you guessed it, the corresponding ion will be nitrate ion. But here now things are a little bit different. Here we have an HNO2 instead of an HNO3. So the rule is when we remove one oxygen, remove one oxygen, the ic becomes us. So this would be nitrous oxide. Uh, nitrous acid, nitrous acid, and so the corresponding ion is no longer called an 8 ion, it's now called an ite ion, so this becomes nitrite ion instead of nitrate. So here are a few exceptions that you have to deal with when you deal with acids, acids and their corresponding ions.